If you want to compare data between places or do more analysis, Census Reporter's Explore option helps you get access to all of the detailed tables that the American Community Survey provides. Type in some keywords to get started or a specific table code if you know it. You can find these in the topic pages. In this video, we'll look at poverty status by sex. After you choose a topic, the table page shows you the columns in your selected table, so you can make sure you're on the right path. This page will also show you closely related tables, if they're available, such as ones broken down by race and Hispanic origin. There may also be an option to see a collapsed or detailed version of the table. Collapsed versions are simplified while detailed versions expand on the data. We'll stick with the detailed version for this video. And if you feel like the table you found is close but not quite right, the topic links may help you find exactly the right table. Once you've chosen the version of the table that works for you, you can get data for that specific location by typing its name. You can then compare this data between multiple locations. The sidebar on the left side of the page offers suggestions for areas you can compare, like adding other places in the same county, metro area, or state. Here, place is the census term for cities and towns. You can also divide the specific location into smaller summary levels. The Census Bureau calls different kinds of locations summary levels. Here we'll split Chicago into its different zip codes. And if you're getting confused with these ge geographical terms, check out our video on understanding census geography. If the location you want to compare isn't in the suggestions, you can type it in in the Add a Geography bar. You can also type in a specific geographic summary level, like states, zip codes, or places. Then another search bar will pop up and ask for a specific name of the larger area you're looking for. We'll look for places in Cook County. And keep in mind that places are cities and towns in census language. You can switch the way estimates are presented from percentages to totals and download the information in file formats that work for you. If you just want to be able to read the data better or do simple calculations, download the Excel file. If you want to use statistical software, you probably want the CSV download. There are other ways of looking at the data. To see information geographically, use the map option. You can choose the data column you want to appear on the map. And again, compare this data to the same data from other locations by clicking Add More Places. So we'll type in Places for the summary level, and we'll go to DuPage County this time. So now we're looking at data for all places in Cook County and DuPage County. To find information from a specific place on a map, you can use your cursor to hover over its location and you'll get the data as both percentages and totals. There are limited maps that Census Reporter can automatically make, but you can download data as GIS enabled formats like GeoJSON, KML, and Shapefile to create your own maps. You can also analyze the data through the distribution range view, which shows the minimum, median, and maximum points, and the data in between. This option is a great way to look at patterns and outliers. You can highlight specific locations by choosing places on the drop-down menu, or just by clicking them on the distribution line. Adding places for comparison in the distribution view is the same as the table view. Just use the options on the left sidebar. And to credit the information that you found, you can use the citations at the bottom of the page. Now you know how to use Census Reporter in three different ways to see specific data for any location. Use the table for basic data points, the map for geographical views, and distribution for data trends. If you have any more questions, check out our other videos or send us a message.